Hey, uh, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. I, I'm calling it an episode of Ask Matt, I guess, uh, where people ask me questions and I answer them on YouTube. Um, I have lost my voice because I'm sick, but I hope that I will um, still... Oh, but I think I might have fixed the, the camera focus problem. So anyway, <clears throat> last time we talked about 20% time and how we do it at Titan. And so in response to when I put that one up, Dustin LeBlanc said, I'd love for you to go into more detail about how you guys do the by the week billing. It's kind of tied in this same question, an extension of what I asked about like last month or whatever. We're still billing everything hourly. Okay, so what he's talking about there is um, at Titan, we don't bill hourly. So we're a consultancy and every consultancy has to figure out how they're going to bill for the hours that they work. So the two classic models are billing by time or billing by project. If you bill by time, you say, we are going to uh, you know, spend 300 hours on this project and we will bill you X dollars per hour. And then at the end, uh, we will have worked Y hours and then we'll multiply those two numbers together and it'll be what you billed. Usually billing by time includes estimates up front um, that may or may not actually reflect reality. You can say we're gonna take 300 hours and then the vast majority of estimated projects take much longer than they were estimated. And so then you have one of these problems with overages where you say, oh, well, we thought it was gonna be 300, but we didn't plan for this, that, and the other, and it turns out it was 700 or whatever. Uh, one of the solutions people have come up to um, or come to for this problem is uh, billing by the project. And they say, we know that this project takes around this amount of effort. And so we're going to say, here's a flat fee. The benefit of the flat fee is that you, your flat fee might include um, the working with it in a way where as you get better and better and better, you're still making that same amount of money, but you can do it faster. So getting faster at this thing you do regularly now makes you make more money. Um, but another benefit of the flat fee is that uh, your clients know exactly how much something's going to cost, which clients love, especially the people who aren't the ones you're interacting with, but the people higher up who sign the, the bills. They love predictability. Um, the problem with flat fees is it, it requires you to know ahead of time, just like estimates do, what it's going to take to do the thing. And there's some types of work where that's totally viable. You know, I, I have done flat fees for WordPress websites and stuff like that and been really happy with how we did it. However, at Titan, we do almost exclusively custom application development, which means there is no off-the-shelf tool for what you're talking about. We have to build a custom, which means we can say, well, we've done something similar in these, this way and this way in the past, but if it was entirely similar, we could just copy it. It's always going to be unique in some ways. And so our ability to predict the future is very low. So what we do is we do time, but we do this thing called no estimates. And if you just kind of Google hashtag no estimates, there's all sorts of really great conversations that I can't kind of fully go into here. And there's a lot of great people thinking about no esti estimates. I think Adam Wathen may have even talked about it in his podcast, and he was certainly someone who brought it to Titan originally. But essentially what we do is uh, we, first of all, we focus on being able to help someone know as well as possible um, how much work uh, is going to be done and how much cost is there's going to be using lots of bigger and ballpark numbers, not not detailed line by line estimates, but really just high level thinking of, well, we might be talking about this versus that, maybe in this range. Um, but second of all, we focus less on, um, and this is to Dustin's question, we focus less on um, it's probably going to be 300 hours and we're going to track our time tracker at 15 minute increments. And rather what we recognize is the best possible work is done by someone who's purely focused on one thing at a time for an extended period of time. And we found that the best way to do that is not by the hour and not even by the day, but preferably by the week. And so what we like to do is have every developer booked on one project maximum per week. And so if your developers are going to book, be booked on only one project at a time per week, then it makes a lot more sense to bill on the week basis because we're not going to be splitting weeks. We don't want to be in a place where we say, oh, well, I worked this project for one day, that project for one day, that project for half a day, because we don't think that's a good way of working. And so if we're not assigning our developers that way, which we haven't been for a very long time, then it also doesn't make sense to bill our developers that way. And so at that point, it's pretty natural for us to get to uh, weekly billing just because we're working by the week no matter what. So why not bill by the week? A lot of people who talk about weekly billing have talked about how it's an opportunity to divorce your pricing from hourly pricing, um, which, you know, I guess we could do. But in the end, we, do, we we figure out our week price by taking what we think of as our normal hourly price and multiplying it by 32 uh, because eight hours of the week are 20 percent time. Um, so while we do weekly billing, it's not some like really magical thing that we're doing to try and hide our hourly rate. Um, it does sometimes make negotiations a little bit easier because when you're saying, oh, well, can you give us a discount or whatever, the sorts of things people try to do, um, it tends to be on bigger numbers. And so you're talking about, oh, well, if 32 times your hourly rate 
is this, can you kind of pull this, round this down a tiny little bit or something? Um, <clears throat> and so I do think that it makes the conversations a little bit more tied to broader um, considerations of what it looks like to do the work um, on week and month scales rather than hour scales. And I think that's good for everybody. I think trying to nitpick over one hour or another hour is really not great for us. And, and one of the benefits of avoiding all that kind of nitpicky thinking is that nobody's sitting down saying, oh, well, you know what? You didn't use that 25 minutes as productively as you should or whatever, but rather show up with our expectations. And our expectations are you're going to work 40 hours and they might not always be nine to five, but you are going to work 40 hours every week and you're going to work the best 40 hours you can. And for some people that means splitting in the middle of the day and seeing your kids or whatever. So we try to set people up for that space to work the best 40 hours you can and not to be working about timer on, timer off, whatever. We trust you be to be grown-ups to get the best work that can be done during that time. We get the best people, we give them the best training resources, and we give them, you know, the best working environment. So then when we go and do biz dev and we say, hey, you know what? This is, you know, this is the best work that can be done. Uh, we believe that to be true. We believe that we've set up the best environment for that. And we don't think that having to worry about timer on, timer off, take notes about what you did, timer on, timer off, take notes about what you did, you know, all that kind of stuff. We don't think that's the best working environment. <clears throat> So yeah, that's basically weekly billing for us. Uh, we've always been uh, assigning people one project at a time as much as we can. Um, why not bill that way? Um, it's not super magic or super different. It just allows us to have one less kind of moving part to think about, one less thing that people always have to be worrying about. Um, there may be other kind of questions embedded in that. So if so, leave a, leave a comment here and I'll try to get to it or send me a tweet or whatever. But I hope that's helpful a little bit and that's how we do things at Titan. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and send more requests my way so I can make more of these videos. Thanks.